if the train's in a row, are you saying to vocalize? Yes. <laughs> okay. I can do that. Thanks, Shirley. Am I on? What? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I'm trying to quit. Oh, he always does that. Okay. Sherry, where are you? Remember when you. My dad does. We're going to have, uh, uh, if I can have your attention, please. Huh? Okay. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a, a program, if you will. And uh, Tamara is going to be reading uh, uh, something. Uh, she has it in writing because... Uh, if she didn't, she'd be up here for 25 minutes. We don't want that. And I told her I know people who kill for a living, so she wrote it down, so she'll be, it'll be about three minutes. Yeah. So. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm on. Hi, everybody. Hi. I'm Kenan Shirley's youngest, brightest, and no. My name is Chandler. <laughs> okay, and I just have a quick story to share in regards to Mom and Dad's 60th Diamond Anniversary. Okay, my dad had lost his favorite tie pin some time ago. His diamond, as he called it, but it was his favorite, the one he wore most office, but then it was gone, misplaced, lost. Well, about a month ago, Mom recruited me on a quest to find a replacement type in as a gift for their diamond anniversary. Really, a cubic zirconia, because as Mom put it, Dad wouldn't know the difference <laughs> and would have a fit if he knew the cost of a real diamond. <laughs> So Mom and I began our search at the mall, Macy's, Sears, Penny's, all the jewelry stores, no luck. We then hit a lot of men's fine clothing stores, only to learn that tie pins are not the fashion right now. We, wa oh, we went everywhere. We even tried some pawn shops. We really did. The only tie pin we saw all day was on a salesman. Even with the wrong colored stone, Mom offered to buy it. No deal. He had it made by a jeweler. Mom thought that could be an option. Long day, no luck. I went home exhausted. Mom went home disappointed. Well, I guess disappointment turned into determination because Mom calls me the next day to say that she searched through Dad's many soup pockets for that lost type in, only to find a lot of dirty handkerchiefs and a few clean ones, but no luck. She then started digging through Dad's jewelry-type box, and lo and behold, there it was. She brings it to Dad, who simply said, Oh, oh yeah, I found that weeks ago. <laughs> okay. Flustered, Mom told him of the hectic, hectic day we'd spent to find him a new one. Well, Dad starts to chuckle, and she says, Not funny, and he says, Oh, but it is. You see, then he told her what he had done the day before while she was gone and out of town. Dad had gone out on a quest of his own to buy Mom's anniversary gift, diamond earrings. Mm. He hit the jewelry stores, surprised at how small they were for the price. <laughs> <laughs> but he went on to many more places, Kmart jewelry counter, antique stores, and two like us, he even hit pawn shops. No luck. If satellites were looking down that day at my parents, they'd have seen them doing the same thing in two different cities searching for one another's anniversary gift. In the end, Dad has his type in. Mom has Dad. <laughs> can't make that stuff up. Right? <laughs> this was sung at their wedding. This was sung at their wedding. Okay. We're going to have uh, uh, Russ and Melody uh, sing a song. they got beautiful voices. And this song was sung at their wedding, at uh, Kid and Shirley's wedding. I don't remember it. Oh, uh, maybe I'll remember it when they sing it. I don't know. <laughs> Everything went wrong, and 
Surely later, but she met Kenny uh, after she stole his car. So, <laughs> and that's a true story. So, uh, you know, they, they met in jail. He was hard to hit back then. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, before we have cake and everything, and, and you know, this is a kind of a joyous time, but. But we need to stop and thank God uh, for everything that we have because let me tell you.